Hi everyone, Kelt here. There's been quite a bit of misinformation put out. One, for instance, is that Harry is at Frogmore when he is in fact at Nottingham Cottage, as far as I've been told. And the pictures we see of the Queen are old pictures, as she would be wearing black in these days leading up to the funeral. However, where she was seen at a recent event, she was wearing black gloves. Even so, a lot of stock pictures are being used. Even the one of Harry coming into London in the car was in fact a picture from years ago, I think when he went to a Silverstone event. The media are now saying that the Queen has said that there should be no uniforms worn at all. So that should possibly shut Andrew and Harry up and solve the problem. Shame that it was down to her to sort this out and not Prince Charles. Also a great shame that it is actually being televised and that they will not be wearing their uniforms because it's actually their last chance to show respect to a true military man and obviously they must have their reasons for not doing this. It's also being said that Prince Philip's family are isolating in Ascot ahead of Saturday's event. As I predicted previously, Harry is missing Meghan and Archie so much that she is FaceTiming them every day to check in and he actually speaks to Meghan a few times a day because he is so worried about leaving her. Well, I'm not surprised. All we have to wait for now is the big headline that she will put out, because she will. At the moment, there are little headlines to do with how much she really wants to be there and how close she was to Prince Philip. One thing, though, I really think that Harry should turn his phone off on the day of the funeral, and that would be the polite thing to do. Also the wise thing, because he needs to show that he can devote at least one day to his family. As far as the beautiful blonde visiting him, or, or rather leaving Nottingham Cottage, the person that witnessed this obviously was inside the grounds and said as much. I think this person was hinting that it was probably Harry's ex and close friend, Chelsea. It doesn't necessarily have to be anything untoward, as some people are hinting but just a good lifelong friend checking in on someone that she's not likely to see again for a long time. Or, even more likely, maybe it was just a publicity stunt just to keep us guessing, because the whole thing is theatre. It's disappointing that Harry appears to only want to spend the minimum amount of time with his family. The latest headlines from The Express is that Prince Harry is to leave the UK as soon as the funeral is over, Desperate to return to Meghan. What about the times when he was with her and probably desperate for a beer with his friends? It's so impolite to be constantly on your phone at a time like this and I think during a funeral it would be the height of rudeness and insensitivity. So maybe one of the family should hide Harry's phone for a few hours. Now Harry is saying that he wants his family to park any disputes. In other words... He doesn't want to have to face any consequences of what he did previously and wants to go back ASAP to avoid having to talk about anything. I agree with the fact that he should put this stuff aside and that it is the wrong time to be discussed, but he should be staying with them and not running away so soon. Love for family should come before any disputes or misunderstandings. If Meghan was a true peacemaker and humanitarian, then she would be encouraging him to stay with his family for longer to build bridges if it's not too late. And another thing, what's with all these photos of Harry being posted as if it's Archie? We've had a lot of this and the latest is a picture that Meghan fans are insisting is Archie, but it's actually a picture of Harry when he was little. And I know because I remember these old pictures. Also, the beautiful picture of the Queen and Prince Philip with all the great-grandchildren, it really shows them all apart from Archie. Recently, the old questionable photo of the Queen and Prince Philip appearing to admire Archie, which we said 
a year or two ago had obviously been photoshopped. Many people picked up on it back then. It's now being said that the Queen and Prince Philip were actually admiring a newborn foal at the Windsor Horse Show, and that was the photo which was used. I've looked for this photo, not able to find it, so I'm sort of on the fence as regards that. Not sure. But regarding all the rest, why all this fakery? And Lady Colin Campbell actually stating in her recent video that Harry and Meghan are insane. Lady Colin is very careful with her choice of words and has never been successfully sued. So for her to state that they are insane is quite something. Whatever they do does appear to be madness and insanity. Why use fake pictures of your child? Why pretend that things are a certain way when they're not? Now it's being said that Tom Bradby is to cover Prince Philip's funeral despite falling out with Prince William. Who exactly is running the show here? This is the most insensitive thing I have read regarding all of this. Not only is Prince William allegedly being prevented from honouring his grandfather by wearing his uniform, which he is actually entitled to wear, but someone whom he has just removed from his circle of friends due to his betrayal by supporting Harry and Meghan in speaking out publicly against him and his family, if this is Prince William's decision, for instance, to be a true royal and professional and giving Tom Bradby a chance to behave as a professional himself by covering this in an unbiased manner, which I don't see how he can be anything but unbiased, considering the nature of what he's covering, then that is showing William as being an amazing future king. If it's not, and it's the Queen and Prince Charles's decision, then all I have to say is it stinks. It's the ultimate slap in the face for the Cambridges, if they had no say in this. Hopefully, it's Tom Bradby's chance to come good after the big mistake of siding with the Sussexes. Well, I think my next video is going to be on the life of Prince Philip. I've already done two videos with just photos and music, one which includes his controversial quotes, and some of them are a little bit out there, quite offensive to some people, and the more recent one, which has been edited where I've added more photos and I've taken out the quotes, bar one, to make it more appropriate at this time. I'll put a link at the end of this video. Back to this video, I will end it by saying what I would do if I was the head of that family. For one, I would insist that those who have the right to wear uniform would wear it to honour Prince Philip. And another reason, if this is being done to protect Harry because they're going soft on him as regards this. What's the point in taking away the titles and, and preventing the wearing of the, the uniform anyway for him? Because if people are going to stop wearing their uniforms just to appease Harry, then it seems that any meeting he goes to in the future, what will we have? All the, all the military people not wearing their uniforms so as to not, not offend Harry. It's absolutely ridiculous. So that's one. And the, the other thing would be all phones would be turned off or put away for the day out of respect. Any emergency calls could go through their aides. I would also stipulate that if Harry was able to get there for the funeral, then he should stay at least one more day, preferably a week, to show support to the rest of the family, to switch off from what he sees as his own issues and to think about someone else. Surely his wife has got her mother there and friends around and he's at the end of a phone bar one day or part of one day so let me know what you think and i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching bye please subscribe ding my bell for more alerts for more videos like if you liked it and share bye